Hey Libra, welcome to Libra Vibes. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So we're going to get into another reading, see what's the vibes, see what spirit has for you at this time. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for all the likes, comments, subscribe, shares, views, tips, donations, and bookings. I appreciate you guys. I send you guys much love and light. Take what resonates, leave what does not on this table. This is a general reading. If you would like to book a person with my emails in the description box. This reading could resonate if you have Libra anywhere in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, all Libra placements. So let's see what the overall energy is crowning this message for you guys at this time. We have lessons and blessings. Okay. So if you guys just went through something recently, um, consider it a lesson and there should definitely be a blessing attached to it. You just have to have patience, right? There's like a watch here. So in divine timing, there will be a blessing that comes behind this lesson. And then we have Celtic. So maybe you guys are someone that uses a Celtic cross. Maybe a Celtic cross reading would be something that would interest you. Or maybe you got some type of lesson in regards to church or something here as well. Let me know for Celtic. And then we have Asia. So you could possibly be from Asia. You could be thinking about traveling to Asia at this time. Someone's name could be Asia, but let's get straight into the reading. All right, Libra. So let's see what the message is here for you guys at this time. Spirit, what about lessons and blessings? What's going on with Libra? What is the message here for Libra at this time in regards to this overall energy? We have the Hermit. So definitely going into Hermit, reflecting. Five of Wands. You could have been fighting here with a group of people or just having some obstacles and challenges with going within. What is the message? We have the Eight of Swords. So whatever this is definitely has you up in your head. You could have even been um, getting into something here with a Virgo. Or you could have a Virgo sun and Libra somewhere else in your chart. What is the message? We have the Two of Cups. So you could definitely be in your head about a love situation. Something that has to do with love. Um, where there's a mutual understanding a mutual attraction a mutual connection okay what is the message and then we have the knight of swords so someone could definitely want to rush in and communicate with you also there could be like some rapid changes going on in regards to love for you guys at this time and again it could have something to do with some fight here or getting into it with a group of people possibly even in your home you could have gotten into something here because sometimes the hermit gives me like home vibes as well you could also be like an introvert type of person but there could have been some type of fight in your home here but again it was a lesson clarify the five of wands Eight of Cups. Maybe there were some obstacles and challenges around walking away from a love situation. You could be really up in your head about it. It could also be like, you could have gotten into some drama or fight here with someone in your home and maybe now you're in the Eight of Swords about it. This person could want to rush towards you to communicate with you. What's the Two of Cups? This could even be something like lovers and friends because they're playing that song. Clarify the Two of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. So maybe this has something to do here with um, a Cancer energy, a water sign. But it definitely has something to do with love here. Passion. Why 
That's the Celtic energy here. It could have also been something about someone crossing you here. Shout out to you, Libra. Shout out to you if it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. What's the Celtic and Asian energy here? Queen of Swords, and it flew straight into the center. So maybe, Libra, you could be from Asia, okay? You could be thinking about um, traveling to that continent as well. Maybe you guys are like traveling the world, being independent. Maybe you're like up in your head about that as well, going to travel the world. There could also be something here about belief systems, okay, with the Hierophant energy. Maybe what you believe in is different from someone you're in a relationship with or a friend here. But again, it's still lessons and blessings here. Also, someone could be in the Eight of Swords in regards to you. What's the Eight of Swords energy? Let's do that again. Queen of Wands. So maybe someone could be in the Eight of Swords about your passion, um... Maybe you're someone that's very self-assured, very vibrant, okay, very beautiful, very handsome. And maybe someone is like really up in their head about that. And again, it's it's really giving the energy of like fighting in a home more than anything here. So maybe this person now wants to rush towards you and give you roses or just speak to you. It's all about you, though, Libra. And now they're playing that Maya song. So maybe you guys have actually, like, decided to put all this energy into yourself here. Feeling good, looking good. And maybe this is, like, really having, taking a toll on someone here that you could have been getting into it with. I feel like you walked away from this obstacle and challenge, this group of people, it's like, maybe you want more out of life. And then there's something here with belief systems here. So again, maybe you're like going towards people who think like you, um, who has the same beliefs as you. There could even be someone that's doing like some type of project on Asia and maybe their belief systems or actually visiting some type of old building, okay? If you're planning to travel. Because the Knight of Swords could also be like a travel card. Maybe you're just like thinking about moving on really, really fast here from whatever this is. What's the lesson here? We have sky writing the fates. So it also makes me think about you guys maybe like going after something that you feel is fated for you, even if it is to travel the world, okay? Just know that you are protected here. Somebody could have also gotten some type of message or something here in the clouds, which could have been confirmation here for you as well. 49 could be significant to you, 1994. What's the Knight of Swords energy? The farther gate, a bold step forward. Yeah, so someone is like really considering taking a bold step forward towards you. But again, it's like you're in this very like vibrant energy, maybe even seductive because now they're playing that 50 Cent song that's seductive. So let's see. So maybe you just walking away has someone up in their head now. Clarify the horror font. 
game over it's a wrap yeah so maybe it's a, a wrap to a higher level of commitment and maybe you're going to asia um or leaving asia maybe it's a wrap to the belief system that maybe these group of people could have been trying to impose on you here but more than anything I feel like you walked away from some challenges, fighting, drama with someone here, and they're up in their head about it because you guys are like moving forward, wanting more out of life here. And this person wants to rush back in and maybe give you some type of proposal. Maybe this was someone who was dragging their feet in regards to even proposing to you or taking a relationship to a higher level. Also, with the 10-minute energy, I always get that vibe of, like, someone that's, like, <clears throat> doesn't have a heart. Or maybe you feel like they're heartless. Or this group of people is heartless. Or this friend is heartless. Love bombing. So, yeah, maybe you feel like this person was love bombing you. And there really was no love there. Also, I feel like, yeah, someone could definitely be saving to go um, to Asia, to Thailand, to China, Japan, something like that. So... What's going on with this uh, Eight of Cups energy? Shout out to you guys from walking away from the drama or these obstacles and challenges in your home or with this Virgo or if you are this Virgo, however it's resonating. But again, it's like now having someone up in their head. You could also have a Aries energy that's trapped up in their head at this time. Who's in their head? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So... It could have had something to do with family here more than anything. Or money. Nine of Cups and the Two of... Right, it's like maybe you guys are trying to balance out your finances here. Um, have your wishes fulfilled. And then there could also be something about someone juggling you here. What's the Hermit? Knight of Cups. So I really feel like maybe you guys went within, you decided to show yourself love and walk away here. So again, shout out to you guys for that. Let's get a couple of index cards. There's nothing wrong with starting over. Yeah, so maybe you're deciding to go start over in a whole different place. Or maybe you're just starting over with the way that you see things and, and your belief system here. But whatever this is here, this was fated to happen here. Message for Libra. What do you want? <clears throat> Excuse me. What do you want them to know about the love bomber? There could have also been something about. Um, you guys not being able to say what you wanted to say or someone trying to block your throat chakra here. Or again, it's like, yeah, it's like take a chance. So again, it's like maybe you guys are deciding to finally like walk away and take this chance. We won. So maybe there was like something here that your ancestors were helping you with to actually like take a bold step forward here. You could, you and your ancestors and spiritual team, maybe you guys won against a certain love bomber here. Tower moments ahead. So maybe someone is now like rushing back in or you could have even just been worried about the tower moments. What may happen, right? Because sometimes tower moments are things that we don't see, right? And then they just happen. But I feel like if you release this energy, maybe there's tower moments ahead. 
for whoever was bringing you these obstacles and challenges. That could also be another reason that they want to rush in to communicate. Also, maybe just because you guys are deciding to move forward here. No guidance. So maybe, again, these were people that didn't have guidance. Or maybe you feel like they didn't guide you in the correct way. But you're no longer allowing them to control the way you believe and your belief system around religion, spirituality here. Someone could have also been lying to you. You could have been dealing with a Leo. Okay, someone born in August. Someone that could be like extremely hairy or have like a big beard. You could have also just decided to be brave and rebel. Yeah, so this reading is giving a lot of rebellious energy here. But it was faded, right? It was written in the stars. It was faded. So let's see what your advice is here. If this reading is resonating with you. What is your advice for it? The hottest love has the coldest end. So for those of you that it resonates as love, it's like, or... Just know, like, if there was something really hot and heavy about the situation and now it's over, it's the hottest love has the coldest end. Also, release your worries and receive universal abundance. So, again, the tower moments ahead for you guys is definitely something that's going to be good. So, don't worry too much, okay? Can I have some initials for this read for it? First, last, middle, and issue yours or theirs. V, N, G, N, R, J, H, I, and I. See, something about a ring. So maybe, again, someone could have been, like, taking really long to propose. So maybe you walked away because there was no proposal here. Also, someone could want to, like, ring you here and say hi. Something about um, Jen and J-I-N. So, again, it's giving, like, an Asian vibe. Maybe your person is from Asia. You're from Asia. But take it as it resonates to you. So, we have H-V-J-I-N-R-G. Shout out to you guys. I send you much love and light. And I'll see you in the next one.